Hey, what's going on team? Nick from the Karate Playbook here. Now I just recently picked up a new toy. It's called a Target Master, and it's made by Asian World of Martial Arts. So I figured I would take this video, get it out of the box, get it all set up, and we can kind of play around with it together, and see what we like, see if there's anything we don't like. Let's bust this thing open and try it out. All right, there we go, we're all set up. Now, before we jump into actually using it, just a couple notes about getting it set up. First of all, it's super easy, really goes together really uh, smooth. It comes with all the tools that you need. Now, I used a drill during part of it, uh, but it does come with a screwdriver, a wrench, and an Allen wrench as well, so you don't really need any tools sitting around in order to get this set up, which is pretty nice. It went together really fast. Now, a couple things I did notice is uh, right here where the bolts go in, it is plastic here. I did notice that the plastic started to warp a little bit, so uh, just be careful when you're tightening these down. Don't go too hard. I did also notice that as you're moving it, you don't wanna move it from the top because again, it is plastic, so we wanna use the bottom here. All right, so the last quick thing to note is that these will adjust up and down using this little bolt here, but this will not swivel side to side. So I can't align these two to go on top of each other. Let's say if I wanna do a low and a high kick, I would have to maybe kick underneath or above one and then use the target for just one of the kicks. Uh, now overall, it does go together really smooth. It seems like it's gonna hold up very, very well. Just keep those things in mind as you're getting it set up. Nothing that would stop me from getting one, but just something that's nice to know ahead of time. All right, so now I'm just gonna play around with this a little bit, see what sort of techniques and combinations we can work on these paddles, and play around with the different heights of them as well to see what we can do. All right, so yeah, this thing is awesome. It's really fun. It takes a little bit of getting used to as far as how the paddles are gonna move and how you can adjust them for different combinations. But a couple of the ones that I really am liking is the fact that I can throw maybe a body round kick and then a combination with maybe a follow-up punch uh, on this side or this side to kind of work on if you're throwing a technique and they block, shooting off to the side and following up up top. So I really like that. And I also like this bottom one, which of course would be great if there's a little kids training, but I like it right down at the ankle height so I can work on kind of a foot tap, sort of a sweeping action, mainly just to get the person's attention down low. And then I can follow up with either a body punch or a head punch off to the side. So as if I'm kicking the front foot and kind of spreading them out a little bit and then going high or low. So I really like that concept. Being able to go one and then follow up right here. All right, so another thing I do like about this is that these springs are gonna bring this paddle back pretty fast. So if I threw a punch here and I didn't bring my hand back to my head, so a lot of people have the tendency to throw a jab and drop their hand or a reverse punch and drop their hand. If I did that, this is gonna come back and hit me in the shoulder or the face. So it's gonna kinda keep me honest a little bit where if I hit it, doesn't necessarily feel great and it's gonna help you learn. So it makes you have to bring one hand up in front of your face and really keep covered during the follow-up or the exiting part of the technique. All right, so that's it for this quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanna take this quick second and show you this new piece of equipment because it's only been out for a couple of months, but it was really an awesome training tool and I think the kids are gonna really enjoy working with it. You can, as an instructor, you can have four kids working on the same piece of equipment at the same time, and you don't have to worry about instructors holding paddles or holding mitts, which is gonna save a lot of time and hassle. All right, if you have any questions or if there's anything that you're wondering if it works well or any training equipment that you've found recently that you really like, always make sure you toss it down in the comment section. I love connecting with everybody down there. I do my absolute best to respond back to every every comment possible. So thank you all so much. Have a great day. Have an awesome time training. We'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.